if you were watching yesterday, you know I said that we would have a very special guest today, and I meant that, and you can't get any more special than this guest. Um, this is my mom, Jeannie, and uh, she's going to be 92 years old uh, in a week and a half, and so um, one reason why I think she can be really an encourager to all of us is because she has I just do a lot of different things. Hey, Liz. So, Liz, this is my mom. And uh, so, because of what my mom has gone through, I thought it might be great that she could um, encourage us with the fact that you can go through a lot of um, interesting and hard things in life and, and uh, come out the other end and be okay. So, here's an example of some things that my mom has been through. She's been through the Great Depression, when she was real little. She's been through World War II. She's been through, as a nurse, she worked as a nurse during the uh, polio epidemic. So I'm going to let her tell us a little about some of those things and what her experience is like. And hopefully that'll be a great encouragement to some of you. So, Mom, welcome. Okay, thank you. It's great to have you on with us today on our little broadcast here. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my son Steve has given me an opportunity to have my couple minutes of fame. Okay? okay, and he wants me to tell a few things to my past that I went through. Anyway, uh, <laughs> in the Great Depression, I was four years old, so I really can't tell you too much about that, except I remember that we lived in Reading and Pennsylvania, and uh, my sometimes people came to the door, men who were unemployed. And they would ask for a hot meal. And my mother would certainly cook up a great hot meal for them. And they would sit when they would finish, they would say, thank you for having lunch. It was really appreciate that. And then that was about it for me as far as the depression was concerned. I'm sure my parents went through a lot more. Uh, then the World War II, um, uh, my father knew a friend who was up in the cabin up in the mountains. And during the war, they used to do plane spotting. And what that meant was you went up there and you had binoculars, you saw any plane that came through, you noted what time it was. But there was a chart there that had the shape of the plane on it. And if you could recognize the plane, find out the spot, then you would get you know, back down the We went there for a couple of Sundays. So I became a plane spotter. Wow. <laughs> you saved our country. I hope you all know that. <laughs> And the other thing was, we lived across the street from the whole thing there. And at that time, there was no nylon. And uh, silk was used for parachutes. And for the assault of parachutes. Okay? So maybe I helped them. But um, once every couple of weeks, uh, they sold one pair of socks with silk socks. Uh, and they had the steam down the back of the And uh, you were allowed to buy a one packet. So my mother would buy the packet that she needed. Then if she didn't need any more, she would help and buy for the family and for friends and all like that. So you see there are a lot of things we go through and we come out on top and don't be discouraged because uh, it will be fine. And with God's help, we know that we will be good. Thank you. So my mom lived through the depression. She was little, like she said. She was only four years old, and um, you know doesn't remember as much of it. But um, she remembers that her mom, my grandmother, used to feed homeless people or people who uh, were down on their luck. You know, guys who were out of work. And so people made it through that time. And um, I think we're going to have to do the same thing here: be generous and be caring towards others, just the way that that uh, my grandmother. Uh, her, her mom was towards the people at that time. And World War II was, um, well, one thing I think about it is the people who were going through it, like my mom and dad who went through World War II, they didn't know that it was going to end. We know now, we look back on it and we know it ended. What a wonderful thing. But they didn't know that. They just had to get through it. And so uh, we just have to get through what's happening right now in, in our lives. Um, we will. That's the whole thing. We'll be able to look back on this time in the same way that my mom and dad and people from their generation were able to uh, do that. 
and um, you know, just realize that no crisis at the time seems like it's going to end, but it does. Like my mom said, through God's grace, we can get through all these things. And mom, uh, we have uh, Val's comment for you. Let's go Phillies. So, uh, you know, my mom's a big Phillies fan. And Thanks, so <laughs> we know that uh, at some point the season's going to start. We're going to be able to see some baseball. We're going to go back and live life the way we know it and the way we um, we love it. And uh, Candace put on here, I think we need to revert to Depression-era habits for a bit. You know, what were those Depression-era era habits? You, you make do with what you have. You make the best of what you have. Um, you do whatever you can for those around you. Those are some of the lessons that people learn during those times that we can apply today. Frankie just joined in, Mom, okay. so he's watching. And so, you know, every day I do a little song for you guys. I want to do a song today that's kind of special for me and my mom because one of the reasons I got into music was because I loved listening to my mom sing, and my dad and my mom played the piano, and my dad played the organ. And this was a song that uh, was real special to me. My mom and I used to do it together, uh, uh, and it's, it's a, a song of hope uh, uh, because right now we don't know when this is going to end. We know it's going to end, we just don't know when. And so uh, President Trump has said maybe by Easter. We hope so, but I'm going to say this. At least by summertime, life is going to be back to the way that we've always known it. And and so this song, you'll probably recognize it's called Summertime. It goes like this. Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping And the cotton is high your daddy is rich and your mama's good looking. I know my mama is. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Cause one of these mornings you're going to rise up singing, because all this will be over by then. Then you'll spread your wings and take to the sky. But until that morning, there is nothing going to harm you. Daddy and Mommy standing by. Mommy is standing by. Daddy's been taking a nap, but uh, <laughs> we're doing good. We hope you're doing good. We love you. This is going to be something that we'll be able to look back on. Mom and Dad and others from their greatest generation have been able to look back on their experiences, the Great Depression, World War II, the polio e epidemic. They, they survived all of this. And we're going to survive this. And we'll have some stories to tell. And hopefully it'll be stories like my mom's story about how we helped each other, how we were there for each other in the midst of difficult times. So thanks for tuning in. You got a real blessing today to see a real blessing in my life, my sweet mother. and uh, we love you all. Hey, share this with other folks and um, encourage them as well. I'll be back on tomorrow at 4:30 uh, tonight. Pastor Josh will be on with our uh, Wednesday service, Wednesday seven o'clock service. Check that out. Come back tomorrow. Pray for each other. Love each other. Love you all. Thanks, mom.